thee to a summer's day. Thou art more lovely and more temperate. <sighs> Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May. Two hours at prayer. Lady Viola is pious, my lord. Piety is for Sunday. And two hours at prayer is not piety, it is self-importance. It will be better that you return tomorrow, my lord. It would be better if you tell her to get off her knees and show some civility to her six-day lord and master. My Lady Viola. Lord Wessex, you've been waiting. I am aware of it. But it is beauty's privilege. <laughs> you flatter, my lord. No. I have spoken to the Queen. Her Majesty's consent is requisite when a Wessex takes a wife, and once given her consent is her command. Do you intend to marry, my lord? Your father should keep you better informed. He has bought me for you. He returns from his estates to see us married two weeks from Saturday. You are allowed to show your pleasure. But I do not love you, my lord. How your mind hops about. Your father was a shopkeeper. Your children will bear arms and I will recover my fortune. That is the only matter under discussion today. You will like Virginia. Virginia? Yes, my fortune lies in my plantations, the tobacco weed. I need 4,000 pounds to fit out a ship and put my investments to work. I fancy tobacco has a future. We will not stay there long, three or four years. Why me? It was your eyes. No, your lips. <laughs> will you defy your father and your queen? The Queen has consented. She wants to inspect you. At Greenwich, come Sunday. Be submissive, modest, grateful, and brief. I will do my duty, my lord. Master Will, poet dearest to my heart, I beseech you, banish me from yours. I am to marry Lord Wessex. A daughter's duty. And the Queen's command. <laughs>